Hello everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardsisfun.com and it's time for another Saturday stand day card and video. Today I'm going to start out with an A5 standard size card. This is, some, uh, this is a card that I cut out of some Nina White cardstock and I'm going to stamp a little leaf stamp and a heart stamp a bunch um, on this card to create my own background. I'm using the Winnie and Walter The Big, The Bold and Season stamp set for the little leaf image and then I'm using the Into the Woods stamp set from Long Fawn for a little heart. I'm going to be using three colors today. I will be using Dark Quartz, Pumpkin Pie and Just Rust Ink from Hero Arts. Just going to randomly stamp all of these images onto the card. Okay, so first I used pumpkin pie and now I'm going to use just rust to stamp um, these leaves again. These are just really beautiful inks for like fall cards or Thanksgiving cards. Now I'm going to be stamping the little heart using dark quartz ink from Hero Arts as well. This is a little bit like a coral color um, but it's like you know the autumn edition um, <laughs> that doesn't really make sense but it, it's just like a darker color coral color and it is really great for fall themed cards um, just because it's a little bit of a darker and muted coral color than like the you know the very bright and happy um, summer coral color. Okay so I just finished stamping the background and now I am going to stamp some of these cute critters also from the Into the Woods stamp set from Lawnform. I'll be stamping these images using some archival jet deck ink from Ranger and I am using a Canson watercolor paper. You could use any watercolor paper but I just personally really like the Kenson watercolor paper because it's so heavyweight. So I'm going to color all three of the images using distress markers. So for the fox I will be using tea dye and wild honey. I'm going to um, scribble my brush or my marker onto my work surface. You can also do this on an acrylic block. Then I'm just taking a wet brush and I'm going to mix these colors together because you just get a really um, good like foxy color like the fur of a fox so that's why I'm mixing these two together and then I'm just going to apply the ink um, where I want the most shadow to be or the most color so I'm just going around the edges and then I'm going in with a clear, uh, with a clean brush again, just clear water. And I'm just going to spread the color into the center, into the center of the image. Just like this. It's a little bit um, light right now, so I'm going to add a little bit of the tea dye color. And as you can see, the color will kind of start to blend by itself. And that's just um, very easy. Then I'm going to take that mixture again. And I'm going to apply a little bit more. And then I'm just going in with a clear brush. And I'm going to mix that all together. Doesn't look perfect right now, but it will look lots better when it's completely dry. So I'm just going to do the same for the face of the fox. And I will also be coloring the inside of the ears when I colored the rest of the fur. There we go. So now I'm going to color the inside of the ears. And I will be mixing two colors together as well. This time I am going to mix um, worn lipstick 
and tethered rows together. This creates like a really nice um, kind of skin tone for animals. So main, I'm going to mainly use the tethered rose and I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of the worn, worn lipstick and I'll be mixing it with the tethered rose and then it will get like a, a good color for like ears and all of that stuff. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply it on the inside of the ears. There we go. And I'm just going to set that image aside and I'm going to work on the rest of the other two images and at first I wasn't going to show this but I'm going to show it after all but I'm just going to speed up this part a little bit since I just used the same technique over and over again so let's go ahead and color these images Now I'm going to use the coordinating die cuts from the Into the Woods stamp set from Long Fun. So I just die cut the three animals and now I am stamping a greeting from the A Tree from All Season A Tree for All Seasons, sorry, stamp set from Winnie and Walter and I'm using the thankful for you sentiment. I'm going to stamp this greeting using some memento tuxedo black ink. This is my favorite black ink and you can use it for copic coloring but you can also use it just to stamp um, sentiments like I do right now. Now I'm going to stamp over that black reading but this time I am using Versamark ink since I'm going to sprinkle it using some clear embossing powder. Okay, so now I'm going to sprinkle that using WOW Clear Embossing Powder. Okay, so now I'm going to heat set the powder using my heat tool. So now I'm going to loop some thread behind the three critters. I'm using some Hemdeek uh, Crafters Cord and I'm not... Oh yeah, this is a metallic classic set and I'll be using the gold thread. So I kind of, I'm just kind of manipulating it because you know you can see um, like the shape of the little of the packaging. So I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers so it will get like a more natural um, shape. And I'm going to use any adhesive to secure to secure the cord to my card. I'm just going to adhere these critters and you know the foam adhesive will be enough to hold the cord. I'm going to adhere some sequins and I'm using the Nature Mix from Pretty Pink Posh and I'm also going to use the gold sequins. Okay, so I just positioned all of the sequins that I will be using. As I mentioned before, I am using sequins from the Nature Mix from Pretty Pink Posh. And I'm also using the 4mm Mossy Green sequins. And as always, I am using my EK Success tweezers and glossy accents to adhere these. Okay, so that finishes up the card for this week's Saturday STEM Day card and video. I hope you like it. Be sure to check out the video description for linked supplies. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back next week with a new Saturday STEM Day card and video. Bye!